Hi friends, myself Subrutan Mukherjee and today I will solve a problem on final account. Students who are viewing my channel can see uh, my earlier videos in the playlist section of the channel. From the following trial balance and information, prepare trading and profit and loss account of Mr. Rishab for the year end date 31st March 2014 and the balance sheet as on that date. Capital 1 lakh. Drawings 12,000. Land and building 90,000. Plant and machinery 20,000. Furniture 5,000. Sales 1,40,000. Return outward 4,000. Debtors 18,400. Loan from Gajanand on 1.7.13 at the rate 6% per annum 30,000. Purchases 80,000. Return inward 5,000. Carriage 10,000. Sundry expenses 600. Printing stationery 500. Insurance expenses 1000. Provision for bad and doubtful debt 1000. Provision for discount on debtors 380. Bad debts 400. Profit on textile department 10000. Stock of general goods on 1st April 2013 21300. Salaries and wages 18500. Creditors 12000. Trade expenses 800. Stock of textile goods on 31st March 2014 8000. Cash at bank 4600. Cash in hand 1280. Both side total 2,97,380. Additional information given. Stock of general goods on 31st March 2014 valued at 27,300. Fire occurred on 20. 3rd March 2014 and rupees 10,000 worth of general goods were destroyed. The insurance company accepted claim for rupees 6,000 only and, the, and paid the claim money on 10th April 2014. Bad debts amounting for rupees 400 are to be written off. Provision for bad and doubtful debt is to be made at 5% and for discount at 2% on debtors. Make a provision of 2% on creditors for discount. At received rupees 6000 words worth of goods on 21st 27th march 2014 but the invoice of purchase was not recorded in purchase book reserve took away goods worth rupees 2000 for additional personal use but not recorded but no record was made thereof charge depreciation at 12% on land and building 20% on plant and machinery and 5% on furniture Insurance prepaid amount to rupees 200. Here I present the different adjustment entries. The first one is the closing stock. So what we have to do with the closing stock balance. So rupees 27,300 to be shown in the asset side of the balance sheet and in the credit of trading account. The second item is abnormal loss due to fire. So the general entry will be Insurance claim account debit rupees 6000, profit and loss account debit 4000 to abnormal loss 10000. What is the impact in the ledger account? So, this is I have drawn the abnormal loss account. So, by insurance claim 6000, now this 6000 will be shown on the asset side of the balance sheet and by PL account 4000. So, this will be shown on the debit side of the PL. Next is the bad debt, bad debt account debit rupees 400 to debtors rupees 400. So this is the journal entry for third number adjustment. So this is the additional bad debt given in the adjustment. So what is the position of data? So I have prepared a data statement. So data balance as per trial balance. So this is the as per trial balance figure as per as per trial balance is. 18,400 less bad debt 400 so 18,000 after uh, providing bad debt so provision for bad and doubtful debt is at 5% so this will be the amount of provision required 900 and provision for discount on data is at the rate of 2% so 342 so this is the balance of data that will be shown to uh, in the balance sheet so this is the balance sheet figure of data. This, 
ledger of provision for bad and doubtful debt account. So this is the balance as per trial balance which is rupees 1000 and this is the amount of provision requirement required at the end of the year rupees 900 this, as per the data statement. So the difference of 9 or 100 will be transferred to PL account. Next is provision for discount on data. So 380 is as per the trial balance rupees 380 and this is the amount of provision for discount on data required is 342 and the balance amount this is the balancing figure so the balancing figure of rupees 38 will be transferred to PL credit side of PL. So what are the three journal entry we are we are passing here number one is provision for bad and doubtful debt account debit 100 to profit and loss account this is the difference this is the old provision old provision minus new provision next journal is provision for discount on data 38 so this is the old provision is 380 and the new provision required is 342 so this is the difference to profit and loss account and discount a provision for discount on creditor is 360 because 12,000 is the balance as per trial balance and there is a fourth uh, this is the fourth adjustment where the purchase has not yet been recorded so purchase account debit to creditors 6,000 6,000 so this 6,000 will be added with the trial balance figure so total amount of creditors is 18,000 so on 18,000 2% provision for discount on creditor is made so 360 to profit and loss account Next, the fifth adjustment is drawings account debit to purchase rupees 2000. Next is regarding the depreciation. So, depreciation on land and building is 1800, 5% of 90,000. On plant and machinery is 4000, 20% on rupees 20,000. And on furniture it is 250, 5% on rupees 5000. So, total amount of depreciation is 6050 and this amount will be transferred to PL account. So PL account debit to depreciation 6050. And regarding this prepaid insurance, prepaid insurance account debit rupees 200 to insurance account. So this is the ledger of insurance I have prepared for your understanding. So this is the amount of uh, insurance as per trial balance as per trial balance is rupees 1000. And rupees 200 will be transferred to prepaid insurance account. And the balancing figure will be transferred to PL account. Profit and loss account will be 800. Request all the student to go through the adjustment entries that I have passed. Try to analyze the adjustment and then you see what is the impact of this adjustment on profit and loss account and the balance sheet. I have prepared the trading and uh, profit and loss account and I request all the student not to prepare the trading profit lo loss account and balance it separately rather you open the trading account profit and loss account and balance it in your notebook take the first figure what is the first figure capital then drawings then land and building Thereafter, plant machinery. So you take the each figure of the trial balance and you place those figure in the respective places. And then you complete one by one. You close the ledger. First you close the trading account, then PL account and, the, and then balance it. No need to separately prepare the trading, PL and balance it. I request, I repeat again that you open all the accounts, trading, PL and balance it. You place each figure, you take each figure from the trial balance, whichever figure is uh, appearing first, you take the figure and place in the respective place. I do not have that scope to show you, uh, this is my limitation, but I, I expect that you have understood what I, I mean to say. So here the opening stock is 21,300 and on Credit side, you have sales 140, return 5000, 135000, buy closing stock 27300, and abnormal loss 10000. And on the debit side, the purchase less return 4000, add further 
purchase of 6000 the amount that was not recorded and less drawing this was uh, made or goods drawn by the proprietor for personal use so that i have passed the general entry drawing account debit to purchase so the net purchase is 80000 next is the carriage of 10000 and your gross profit calculated at 61000 This is the structure of uh, trading account in one screen. Next is the PL account. On the debit side, you have depreciation 6050, then interest on outstanding loan 1350. I have not passed the journal entry, so you can write here uh, interest account debit to interest outstanding account 1350. Interest account debit to interest outstanding account 1350 then to sundry expense 600 printing stationery 500 insurance 1000 less prepaid 200 is 800 then to bad debt 400 add additional bad debt of 400 so the net amount is 800 to salaries and wages 18500 trade expense 800 loss due to fire 4000 and the balancing figure is the net profit this is the net profit and on credit side you have gross profit brought down 61,000 by provision for bad and doubtful debt 100 that is old provision minus new provision then provision for discount on debtors 38 rupees old 380 minus new 340 and provision for discount on creditors 360 18,000 into 2% and profit on profit from textile business is 10,000. So total of both sides is 71,498. This is the profit and loss account uh, in one screen. And this is the final balance sheet. On the asset side you have a land and building 88,200, plant and machinery 16,000. Furniture 5000 less depreciation of 254750. Then debtors 16758. Now, this figure I have taken from the workings. I have shown uh, the detail working to you. Prepared insurance 200 rupees. Stock of textile 8000. This is as per trial balance. Cash at bank. This is also as per trial balance 4600. Cash in hand. 1280 and closing stock this is from additional adjustment figure and insurance claim of 6000 rupees now this claim uh, you have received on uh, in the month of april so on 31st march this will be uh, shown as a claim which is outstanding outstanding claim so this is obviously an asset and on the liability side you have a capital of rupees 1 lakh this is as per trial balance this is the, the uh, 12,000 drawings. This is also as per trial balance and this is the additional drawings made by the proprietor. This uh, uh, of rupees 2,000. So total drawings is 14,000 and this is the net profit you have taken from the profit and loss account. So your net capital is 1,24,098. Loan from Gajanan is uh, 30,000 and uh, interest on loan outstanding. I have given the Journal entry, interest account debit to interest on loan, 1350 and creditor is 17,640. So balance sheet total is 1,73,088. This is the balance sheet in one screen. You have understood the problem. I request all the student to copy the pro question first and try to follow the approach that I have adopted to solve the problem. Thank you.